Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now I know that you've been sanding those parts and priming and blocking and priming and blocking, and now you've finished painting your body or your, your car, and you want that show car shine that's deeper than the paint that you laid out with the paint gun. So uh, here's a few tips and tricks on how I wet sand and buff a car after I've done my paint work. So let's spin this camera around. We're gonna show you an out of the gun finish. That's out of the gun. Now it's got a lot of extra clear on it just so I can take the next steps to wet sand and buff. All right, that's out of the gun. We step over to this line right here and you might be able to see how flat it's starting to look. And that's the beginning of blocking it down. And what we're wanting to try to do is get the finish flat. And I purposely left some of this to where you can still see some of the shine. Now the shine that you're seeing is the orange peel that's in the paint. So what we're trying to do is block it down to a flat, flat finish. So after you get it blocked down, you wanna take it over to the next step. Now this right here is 600 and we get it completely flat, get all the orange peel and everything out of it. Then we're gonna go into the 1,000, 1,200 grit. After we get it all out of the 1,000, 1,200 grit, we're gonna go all the way down to 1,500, 2,500, and then 3,000. So it'll be super, super smooth and actually start polishing it with the sandpaper. Now I do all this with uh, wet paper with a hard block to start with, and then I go to a soft block. And as I'm wet sanding it down, I wanna make sure that my paper stays wet, dip it in clean water, make sure you don't have any grit or anything like that on it. And as I'm painting it, I'm actually using a sprayer and I'm spraying water on it. And that helps glide the paper across and keeps a lot of the trash out of it. Trash is big, very important. Do not get any grit between the wet sandpaper and your fresh paint or it'll leave scratches. Some of the stuff that we're trying to get out too, I don't know if you can see the little divots in there, that'll all block out. And on these edges, be super, super careful as you polish these edges because these edges will not collect the paint and the, and the clear like a flat panel will. It's very, very easy to... Uh, sand through your paint in these edges right here. Make sure that you don't have any trash under your paint either because if you start to sand a piece of trash that you've primed over and then painted over and then cleared over, that trash will now be the color of whatever the bottom paint is before it comes out. So you definitely want to find all of that before you clear coat. So when you're, when you're buffing, you want to tape the edges up and all the edges and the high, high seam areas where you've got body line because your buffer will burn through that. And also, as you're sanding, if you're not careful, you'll buff over that edge with a, with a sandpaper and uh, wipe out your paint job. All right, so then we're gonna step over here and right here in this square, I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna try to get it down there, how cloudy that area is. All right, a lot of people just say I'm wet sanding my car and they'll go get one grit of paper, be it 600 or 800. And you can see that is just one grit and then it's been wet sanded with that one grit and then buffed. And you can see, you can hardly even see the, bot uh, the bottle or make out the label, okay? Now this area that I'm gonna show you right here on this side, this has been wet sanded with all the different steps, say 800, 1500, 2000, 3000 grit, however, however you wanna do yours. Now you can start seeing, you can make out the bottle, the label, you can even read the label if I can get the camera just right. I'm putting a shadow on it so it's really, really hard. But that is uh, all the steps plus one step of polish. And after you get it, your sanding and stuff done, you'll go through the polish just like you did 
the different grits. You'll start out with a heavier cut and then a lighter, lighter cut, medium cut, and then a real light cut, and then a swirl remover. So it, you'll go through all those, and each one of those gets a different pad as well. So uh, it's it's a uh, a big process. It could take all week to to do a car, and you know. But the results at the end are are great. You can see how smooth that paint is compared to the out of the gun paint. Now, I mean, out of the gun paint looks okay. I mean, you know, most people are going to leave it at that and not worry about it but I'm here to help you go the next step. And it's actually more work to wet sand and buff the car than it is to paint it. But the reason this has got so much texture in it is uh, it's primed and blocked and then I'll paint a sealer over it and the sealer will have an eggshell finish to it. And for every layer you put on top of that, it's just adding more and more texture to it. So this car has uh, probably got four heavy, nice heavy coats of clear, and we'll go through one and a half of those coats as we're wet sanding and buffing. But there you go. I sure appreciate you guys uh, following along with me. I'm trying to make the content more enjoyable uh, as we go. And uh, this is... Uh, this was brought on by one of our viewers asking a few questions, and I just so happens that uh, that's what I'm doing this week. So I figured I'd uh, pop out this video real quick and show you what's going on. Anyway, thanks again. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we're going to start giving some stuff away. Just uh, message me. Let me know what you, uh, what you want. If you want a t-shirt, send me a message, and... Uh, we get 25 messages. I'll pull a couple out and mail you a t-shirt. Uh, I wish I could mail everybody one, but we'll keep doing that until uh, we can afford to send everybody one. Thanks again. Have a great day.